So how to take this apart, make sure the slide is all the way forward and the, the trigger is, the trigger is pressed in. You can't take it apart. So you gotta make sure the trigger is cocked. Pull these two tabs down, pull it back a bit, bring it forward. Okay, this is the VFC Glock 19. Same process, trigger is back. You can't take it down. You gotta make sure it's cocked. Slide forward, pull the two tabs down, pull it back a bit, bring it forward. So the TM Glock 19, the same way. Trigger's back, you can't take it off. You gotta make sure it's fully cocked. Pull these two tabs down, pull it back, slide comes off. Okay, so how do you adjust the hop up? You're gonna take off the slide, and then you can adjust the hop up from here. This is more hop away from here is less hop. On the VFC, it's the same. You gotta, in order to adjust the hop, and there's a, a hop up arrow to tell you where which direction to go. This way is more hop. That way, it's less hop. TM Glock 19. It's a lot different because you don't need to even remove the whole slide. You just lock the slide back. And then inside, there's an arrow where you can use your finger, pull it down for more hop, and then up for less hop. For the Glock 17, it's the same as the other two. Remove the slide, more, less. So these are the frames for the KJW, TM, and VFC Glocks. So for the VFC Glock, it's a flat protrusion out here, smoother in there. For the KJW, it's pretty flat, halfway, same with the other side. But differently on the TM, it's got like this, this curve and it tapers off. TM has a safety, KJ has a safety also and the VFC has a number plate. I like the realism of the VFC because the real Glock doesn't have a safety there. And for the hammers, TM is very smooth, KJW is not, VFC is all right. And for the TM, the hammer is round, KJW also round, VFC is like almost like a triangle, it's flat. Let's take a look at the slides. So for the VFC, the main difference is you have this fire selector to change it from auto to semi. The hop-up is adjustable only when you take off the slide for the VFC, as well as the KJW. It's the older TM style. For the newer TM, the hop-up dial is accessible. Um, once you pull the slide back, you can, you can adjust it without taking the slide off. For the recoil springs, the VFC has like a dual stage recoil spring because it's got a thicker one up top and then the thinner one on the bottom and it has a guide to keep your to keep your recoil spring in. KJW also has a guide to keep the recoil spring in, but it's just one full spring. It has this to keep it aligned on your barrel. And for the TM, it's also got the, the nub to keep it in place. And it has some buffers for to keep your spring in place and also for shock absor absorption. I'm taking off the barrels. So it's a two piece. Hop-up's adjustable there. It's also a two piece, a bit harder to take out. You adjust the hop-up from the side and same as the DFC, two piece, adjust the hop up over here. And for the nozzles, generally they look pretty similar. Picks up the BBs, is thicker on the TM, pretty thin on the KJW, and on the VFC it's like an in-between. 